Hello children, today let us perform very interesting experiment is to prove the electromagnetic induction using ballastic galvanometer and magnet. The apparatus required, this is a magnet, neodymium magnet, this is a bar magnet and this is a coil of wire. The ends of the coil are connected to the ballastic galvanometer. This is the ballastic galvanometer. This particular instrument senses the current whenever there is a current flow in that. The indication is, now the needle is at the center when there is no current. When the current starts flowing through the current carrying conductor which is connected to BG, the deflection in the needle takes place. That indicates the presence of current in the conductor. Electromagnetic induction is a phenomena in which we do not need any power source. The current can be produced in the circular coil by moving the magnets in and out. Let us take the bar magnet. This is the bar magnet. I am trying to, as long as I do not move the magnet, I do not see any deflection at all. When I start moving it, the needle of the ballastic galvanometer is shifting to 2 units on either side of it. The initial kick is towards my right hand side. When I reverse the magnet, the initial kick is on the left hand side. Now, it is very much essential to find out whether the current induced is going to be the same for every magnet or not. Let us do it. These are the ceramic magnetic pieces. This I can use it and find out whether the deflection in the ballastic galvanometer will remain same or not. When I move it, you can see the clearly the deflection is very much when compared to the earlier magnet. You can see that the deflection is around 5 units on either side of the 0 mark. Now, I am using these magnets. These magnets are very powerful. These are called neodymium magnets. When I introduce these magnets in the coil, you will see that the needle deflects violently. It has crossed 30 divisions on the right hand side and 30 divisions on the left hand side. So, what is the observation? When I use the bar magnet, the deflection is very small. When I use the ceramic magnets, the deflection is considerable. Finally, when I use the neodymium magnets, the deflection is really very good. That means, in every case, the current so produced when you move the magnet is different. When I use the bar magnet, the current produced is very small. The ceramic magnets have given reasonably good amount of current and this has given large amount of current. How does it happen? When the magnet is moving inside the coil, magnetic field lines are cut. The field lines which are cut will generate current in the current carrying coil. This indicates that the change in the current depending upon the field strength of the magnet. So, this proves the electromagnetic induction phenomena and we also proved that the amount of current depends on the magnetic field strength. This is very interesting experiment and it is performed by Michael Faraday in the 18th century. So, I thank you all.